These guys are the reason there's a Justice League in the first place. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top 10 greatest Justice League villains. These are the big guns, the heads of the six. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the villains who have really given the Justice League a run for their money, and who have a historically significant place in their long history. We're considering villains who have fought the League in any of its incarnations. You think you can kill me? You're welcome to try. Number 10, The Injustice League. Time for The Injustice League to step into the light. Admit it, you can't turn away. If superheroes band together to form a team, or league, it makes sense that their foes would do the same. The Injustice League has been through several incarnations, starting out as a rather incompetent band that was exiled to Antarctica. Subsequent incarnations were more serious and featured heavy hitters like Lex Luthor, Cheetah, and the Joker. Their goal was to soundly defeat the Justice League and give themselves free reign to conquer the world. You know, typical bad guy stuff, but with the talent and powers to pull it off. Fortunately, gatherings of supervillains almost never know how to really work together, and the League has been able to triumph again and again. With the Injustice League serving as our proxies, we are once again free to operate with impunity. Number 9, Despero. Despero, I presume. Despero! with a backup group, no less. An intergalactic tyrant, Despero goes back to the League's early days. Ruler of the other dimensional Kalanor, Despero's one ambition is conquest of anything and everything. He is helped in his ambition by his third eye, which gives him the ability to both read and control minds, as well as telekinesis. He also possesses regenerative powers, which makes it difficult for him to be permanently destroyed. Ever since his initial defeat by the League, Despero has harbored a burning hatred for them. So far, at least, he hasn't succeeded in annihilating them. A new order to the universe is coming. One that will be written in fire, and with the blood of all who oppose me. Number 8, Starro. The creature was still a prisoner, but now he had a plan. He'd seen how strong Superman was, and he wanted that strength for himself. Although retconning of the League's origin has at times altered this, their very first villain was actually Starro the Conqueror. On the surface, it doesn't look so menacing. After all, it's just a gigantic starfish, right? Not so fast. This alien being possesses amazingly advanced mind control abilities. Using smaller drone-like versions of itself which take over the minds of any person they attach to, Starro is able to control massive amounts of humans and, by extension, meta-humans. Starro's encounters with the League have been relatively few and far between, although he has appeared elsewhere in the DC Universe. But when he does encounter the League, the event is always memorable. Number 7, The Anti-Monitor. Soon you will serve me. All of you will. Introduced in the landmark Crisis on Infinite Earth storyline, the Anti-Monitor was a supremely powerful being who ruled the antimatter universe and was determined to destroy all the other universes. The Justice League was among the hundreds of heroes who helped defeat him during the Crisis, but it was during the New 52's Darkseid War that he became one of the League's most dangerous villains. The Anti-Monitor plotted to destroy Darkseid for his own personal reasons, and the League and their friends and foes had to keep him from destroying all life in the process. I can't move. The witness is I consume your friends. Number 6, Amazo. It's called Amazo. What the hell is an Amazo? A highly advanced cybernetic android equipped with the ability to absorb the power of superhumans. One of the League's earliest foes, Amazo the Android fought the heroes before Superman and Batman were regularly participating in their adventures. Created by the brilliant Professor Ivo as part of his quest to gain immortality, Amazo had the ability to duplicate the powers of the heroes he fought. In essence then, the Justice League would fight a version of itself, but with all the powers rolled into one being. Over the years, Amazo has been recreated in several different forms, but each of them is designed to give the Justice League a huge headache. You don't have any powers. I have this. <laughs> Number 5, The Crime Syndicate. You think you can hide from my ultra vision? You're gonna pay for what you've done, mate. That's a promise. After DC came up with Earth-1 and Earth-2, where slightly different versions of their heroes existed, the introduction of Earth-3 was inevitable. But on this Earth, the likes of Ultraman, Superwoman, Owlman, Johnny Quick, and Power Ring were supervillains. And when they discovered their heroic counterparts on Earth-1, they attacked. The crime syndicate returned several times over the years. Even after the crisis on Infinite Earths wiped out their Earth-3 selves, they survived as members of the antimatter universe. 
As with Amazo, when the League fights the Crime Syndicate, it's like they're fighting themselves, which requires some strategic thinking in order for them to emerge victorious. Which leaves the governments of the world with two choices. Bow down to us, or die. Number 4, Lex Luthor. Enough! Where's Luthor? Right here. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy every moment of this. Sure, he's Superman's archenemy, but he doesn't limit his evil doing to Metropolis. This incredibly rich super genius has crossed paths with the League on many occasions. Aside from his efforts as a leader of the Injustice League, Luther has also had some solo jousts with the team. His power and influence has time and again made him an incredibly formidable opponent for the League, one that can't be defeated simply with super strength and laser vision. Let's be straight here, Lex. There are people out there right now rolling their eyes. They're saying that Lex Luthor hasn't changed, that he can't be trusted. <laughs> can't say I blame them. Number 3, Vandal Savage. Had you never heard of the survival of the fittest? In essence, you heroes sought to protect humanity from its own glorious evolution. He may not have fancy powers or weapons to help him conquer the world, but he has patience and determination. And why not? He's immortal and has been alive for thousands of years. He can outweigh anybody. And since he has amassed enormous wealth, intelligence, tactical skills, and power over his long lifetime, he has access to resources that make him a huge threat. Since he seemingly cannot be killed, there's no real way for the Justice League to defeat him. Just delay him. He strikes with all the power and force he can muster, but he knows that if he fails, he will always be able to try again. We're too late. Something you're not used to saying very often, I'd imagine. Number 2, Brainiac. I'd hoped to remain hidden until I could install myself into the android, but you forced my hand. Brainiac. Another foe with a strong Superman connection, Brainiac is an artificial intelligence with a heavy emphasis on the intelligence part. This remorseless, relentless fighting machine has changed appearance over the years, but is always a cold, calculating being bent on adding to his collection, all in the name of furthering his knowledge of the universe. Whether he's threatening to vivisect Aquaman or shrinking entire cities like Kandor for his collection, Brainiac is not to be messed with. He may just be a walking computer, but he is definitely not user-friendly. kal what brings you so far from your adopted home? I'm here to end you. If your father, Jor-El, couldn't stop me, what hope have you? Number 1, Darkseid. <laughs> Darkseid? <laughs> Some members of the Justice League are practically as powerful as gods. Darkseid really is one, and not a nice one either. The ruler of the hellish planet Apocalypse, Darkseid has a burning hatred for Earth because we keep resisting him. He's used to conquering and smashing his enemies, bringing multitudes under his demonic rule, but the Justice League and other Earth heroes somehow keep foiling his efforts. His ultimate goal is to acquire the Anti-Life Equation, which would grant him absolute control over all sentient beings. So it's a good thing the members of the Justice League have continuously prevented that from happening. Superman must suffer for killing me. His adopted world will die screaming. Only then will I seek the ultimate end. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.